there is one number that I want people to focus on and that is 81%. 81% is the number of people who, when they were confirmed as having the coronavirus, had no severe symptoms. And in addition to that, a lot of the numbers that I'm about to read off, experts have agreed are likely overestimates because most people who have the coronavirus may not even go to the hospital. It's very difficult for us to get accurate counts. 14% of the cases of coronavirus were considered severe and severe means that you had pneumonia or shortness of breath. This is because the coronavirus being a respiratory virus goes after your sinuses, your esophagus, as well as your lungs. And then in addition to that, the shortness of breath that we see in patients is due to the inflammatory response when the virus has infected cells. The immune response is to release cytokines and chemokines. This generates a lot of inflammation. And then as you create inflammation, it does restrict a lot of the airways making it difficult for people to breathe. In 5% of cases, and this is where things begin to get critical, people develop respiratory failure. So if you get enough swelling to the point where you just can't get air into your lungs anymore, you also get septic shock where your immune system has released so many cytokines and so many chemokines that your body loses the ability to control itself and your immune system basically can't calm itself down. And these 5% of cases are where we begin to see deaths and the fatality rate that we've seen from the China report is 2.3%. In addition to that, the fatality rate for people who are otherwise healthy was less than 1%. Remember that. If you are otherwise healthy, you have a greater than 99% chance of living and making it through the coronavirus infection. There are two groups of people who are very impacted by coronavirus infections. These are elderly people as well as people who have pre-existing health conditions. For people who are over 80 years old, the fatality rate is 14.8%. If you have a cardiovascular disease, it is 10.5%. People who have diabetes have a 7.3% chance. And then people who have chronic respiratory diseases, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, or cancer have a 6% chance of death from their coronavirus infection. And again, remember that these numbers are very likely overestimates because of the fact that most cases are so mild that the people don't even make to the hospital because they don't really feel like they should go. Interestingly, another thing we've seen here is that there have been no deaths in any children less than nine years old. None have died from being infected by the coronavirus. This is a very interesting contradiction to what we've seen in the 1918 Spanish flu in which it was mostly the younger people, especially infants, who were targeted and had super high fatality rates. In addition to that, there are some gender biases present in the data that's been made available to us. The death rate for men has been 2.8% and the death rate for women is 1.7%. This indicates potentially some factors here that are leading to this gender bias. One of them is the fact that women have XX chromosomes, men have an X and only a Y. Because men only have one X chromosome, women with the additional X chromosome can have additional copies of genes, and this means that they have more variants of particular genes. One thing that scientists are saying is that there could be something on that extra X chromosome that is giving them a natural immunity to the coronavirus. Alternatively, women have higher levels of estrogen. You know, these are the numbers that we have based on the data made available to us. These things are all likely overestimates because it is a very mild flu. You know, it's important that we get the data out there so we can at least be objective about our analysis. 81% of the time, people who made it into the hospital who were confirmed as having the coronavirus didn't even have any severe symptoms. Those people who were in the hospital who were otherwise healthy had greater than 99% chance of making it through. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care, wash your hands, try to stay sane, you know, do your best to get by. I'm here to help. You know, you've got a lot of people out there who are here to help and take care.